What's up, guys? Welcome back to, you know, our YouTube channel. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Good. Okay, honestly, all right. I been did this video. My bad, guys. See the jump you trying to. I've been it, but I'm thinking more and more about it now because I did this video and call it then she decided she wants to be in it. So I to do the whole video. So. Because y'all want to see me, of course. So therefore I had to redo the whole video, but I'm going to start wasting time because my storage is not that good. But, um, first of all, Bill O'Brien, you the, you the most hated coach in the NFL. Simply because you traded one of the best receivers for trash. Bro, you're and stupid. It's not the first time you did this, honestly. You did it with Damian Clowney. And I don't want to hear contracts talk because he gave JJ Watt $100 million. And he not, don't do nothing. not playing. He stay injured. This man didn't even. He didn't play half of the, half of the season. He got $100 mil. So I don't want to hear contract talks. So I'm not nothing about that. Um, He didn't get a first round pick for JJ Watt or Clowney. I mean, not just a what um, Hopkins or Clowney. He didn't get a. He traded him to Seattle, which is my favorite football team. So he traded him to Seattle. He traded Connie to Seattle for basically nothing, and a couple backups, basically. Um, but can we talk about the person he traded Hopkins for? Can, can I get into that? Then he traded Hopkins for a first round. I mean, a second round pick this year, and first fourth round next year. For a washer running back, David Johnson. No, no, no disrespect to David Johnson, but everybody know he's washed up. And that's just stupid. This man, like Michael Irvin said, he, he's a mistake eraser. Because let's face it, um, Deshaun Watson is not, not the greatest quarterback. Yeah, he can scramble all that, but he's actually it's not all that good. Yeah, uh, uh, Hopkins make him seem like he's that good. He's not. So I expect him to get traded. Probably to the Patriots. Because they don't have a quarterback. And Brian Horry not to answer. Okay, you go ahead and talk. Oh, I got, oh, I got permission. So basically, I feel like it's a dumb decision. No, I'm not a Texas fan. I'm a Chiefs fan. <laughs> but I feel like that was a dumb decision on them. But hey, to be honest, I'm not trying to really make it a color thing, but. I feel like you pay JJ White and not to make it anything color. But yeah, okay, yeah, JJ White's white. Of course, everybody knows that. And Hopkins black, but. Okay, firstly, you see more. Personally, me personally, when you just look at the NFL, action wise. Nobody's white on offense and making good plays. Yeah, you got Julian, Julian Edelman, and all of that. But NFL is mostly colored people. Think about it. Everybody's colored that's best in the NFL. Hawkins is colored. Doesn't make it a race thing. He's colored. I don't want to get into all that. But, like I said, you pay white 100 mil. To get, do to get injured, injured, basically. This man get a call for, oh, he got sent to the sideline for the rest of the season. Bro, no, and it seemed like, like he stayed injured. In, I said injured. He stayed injured every time he plays the Chiefs. Like, I don't, I don't know. They said it's, it's... What? Let me... It's helping me think. Okay, it's... And I also heard baby mama drama. But that that has nothing to do with your your your, your, your production on the field. Like, bro, you can get past that, bro. You went from playoff contender <laughs> to 0 and 16, bro. No, he went to 10 to 2 real quick. Like, bro, like how? Like, Will Fuller, he don't get he. You have nobody that that can actually take that role DeAndre Hopkins had and fix it. Yeah, run the call, but he no. He's about to retire in what, next two seasons, next season, maybe. Um, he's not in the game for that long. So he basically traded, and David Johnson finna retire. So he basically traded a Hall of Fame, mostly in his prime receiver, for a bag a stale, old, outdated, trash bag of chips. Basically, that's all he did. Like, you the most hated person in Texas. You worse than Corona. Like you, bro. Like I was, bro. 
Like, he should got more respect nigga, fuck Ron, than they got for Bill O'Brien. Like, bro, you ain't gonna tell Brett. And why soon as soon as the league legalized we use, you do something dumb like that, bro? They legalize it? Yeah, that, you, you, you smoke weed in the NFL, now you're, now you're suspended for it. And the same that they do that, gonna trade? No, bro. He was like, we gonna do a big kick. Like, bro, nobody coming to your games, bro. You might, you about to, bro. That's like the Chiefs trading Patrick Mahomes, and if they do that, bro. Like, come on, not like. I understand, okay, yeah, he wants to get paid, but other thing, he's in Arizona. I gotta play him. They, my team played him twice. Bro, I don't know. That's it's too, called like Arizona. It, it's too it's much. Like Arizona. You need to stay up off the streets. It's, it's too, <laughs> bro. We already have problems in the division already, bro. We, our game's too stressful already. Then alone, yeah, we got Larry. They got Larry Fitzgerald. Now they got DeAndre, bro. Tough to tie. Bro, like, I'm, bro. in our division, so tough to tie. No more. Uh, how do you feel, Big Mac, Little Mike? I'm not a Big Mac because okay, I'm Big Mac, but we just added we just added a receiver for the Dorset, and he came from the Patriots. And if you know your history, people that come from the Patriots, and it's like they they careers going like that. Like they when they come from the Patriots, they golden, bro. But they they make they mistakes, life like but coming. they like you know what I mean. So you trade Hopkins. For trash, basically. How's that possible? That's like Seattle trading Russell Wilson for. Let's see. That's like Seattle trading Russell Wilson for Mad Shaw. Or Brian Hoyer. Like, no. We should get a. Like, Hoyer? Like, a Hoyer? Hoyer. H O Y E R. Like, think about that. I know you Texas fan. I'm not. I'm glad I'm not Texas fan. Cause bro, I'm stopping watching football after that. I stay so disappointed. I stay That's what I like. I used to watch Texas games, and now like no, bro. Yeah, they disappoint too much. They got what trash in the playoffs. One year, thirty to nothing versus the Chiefs, and then they get beat in the first what night? If not the first round, the second round. Every year, like how y'all not disappointed? Come on now. And then, yeah, y'all got your house hopes up high about free agency, but you just traded the best receiver in the NFL. But he, um, what he got? He got a second round. He got trash, basically. The Cardinals got a second round pick this year and a fourth round pick next year. Like, but I, I got to give the Cardinals some, 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 some clap, some applause. But you that, to that, convince them to that, trade him? Not even convinced. They got they got legally robbed. They got scammed. You you legally robbed the Texans, bro. No, you scammed them. Like, <laughs> no, that's a whole. That's not even a scam. That's a whole rob. No, it's a scam. That's an armed robbery with no gun. It's like what you <laughs> what you get, what you ordered, then what you. Get. Did that threaten to get y'all past Corona or something? Like, what what's going on? I did. Bill, y'all bro. don't judge me. Bill, you you tripping, bro? I don't want to get in too much into this video because, like I said, my storage is kind of trash. You know, this is not a sponsored video. Why oh, you said that? Oh, because it's oil? Yeah. I wish I did have a sponsor. Yeah, feel good? Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm done with this video. I got another video uploaded on my Seahawks channel. That's the link will be in the description for that. And yeah, I'm out. Love y'all. Stay oh, safe. Don't do that. You scared me. Love y'all. Stay safe. You know, for y'all that's dang. It feel good. It's feel like it's dripping everywhere. It's not. For y'all that's working and they go to work, um, pray. You know, I'm not really scared of this corona stuff because I feel like I have God in my life, and yeah, with that I'm good. So, and if you read the Bible, it says all this gonna happen. So yeah, I love y'all. See y'all later. Peace. Work hard. Stay humble. I'm out. Love y'all.